Did you know that Times Table Rockstars started life as a paper resource in my classroom in 2010? We've come a long way since then, and some of us have a lot less hair. But we haven't forgotten where we started. That's why TTRS offers a range of paper resources that develop Times Table Recall in a structured and effective way. These are not your average random question sheets. Oh no, 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 no. With elements of spaced repetition, inverse operation, interleaving, commutativity and more, the recall sheets will complement your teaching for mastery or science of learning approach. Where are the worksheets kept? You can find the worksheets here. Click Worksheets, then select a class. We have a pack for each times table, combination packs, and the option to build your own custom packs. Click the download button under the pack you want to start using. You can download answers at the same time. You can choose a large font version for those students who might need it, and also a version for left-handed writers. Print a pack for each student in your class, as they can write their name on the front, and then keep them somewhere convenient. We expect students to complete about one page a day, which should take up to about five minutes if you establish a really tight routine. But you can vary this to suit your class. A little and often approach is always the most effective way to help children retain the times tables facts. What is in each pack? The recall sheets all follow our baseline practice check model. The first page will start with a baseline. It's important to remind your students that this is the very start of their practice on the table, so they won't get them all correct, and that is okay. You both need to know where their journey is starting from and how much success to celebrate by the time they finish. You can enter the results of the check by clicking this Enter Data button. In a single table pack, the next six practice sheets will have a rock box. This rock box is a point of reference for your students to use as they complete the rest of the sheet. Think of it as a lookup table. This can be filled in as a whole class, led by you, and that way students will consolidate the correct facts as they go. The practice starts with multiplication in order, then multiplication in random order, then missing number questions, which are sort of like a preview to division, and then division itself. Now the questions are not just randomly chosen. They might look like it, but we've hidden some patterns in there. Hidden, I hear you ask? Where, I hear you ask? Well, neighboring questions, for example, might have flipped the factors round. Six times 10 could be followed by 10 times six. Same product, but we've changed the order. So that's great for highlighting commutativity. Some neighboring questions have increased or decreased by one of the factors. So for example, you might see seven times 10 followed by eight times 10. And that's great when the students can spot, ooh, one group more, one group less. Other pairings you might find include doubling the factors. So neighboring questions might go from five times 10 to 10 times 10, which is great for learning that if you double or halve one factor, you'll double or halve the product. And this is also known as the associative law of multiplication. If you feel comfortable, by all means use the formal terminology to expand your student's vocab. Two answers in a row that add up to a third in the sequence is another option that you'll find. So you might find, for example, 11 times 10 and 1 times 10 add together to give you the third answer of 12 times 10. That's great for learning that if you don't know the answer to one particular question, you can derive it by adding two that you do know. To make that practice a little more rock and roll, blare out some rock music from our playlist or play your air guitar. Make sure you keep the atmosphere light and fun and that will really keep any apprehension about their maths performance at bay. In the middle of the pack is check one. This is a great point to recognize the progress that's already being made. You again can record the results using the enter data button. After check one, multiplication and division are revisited. Again, the format of the questions is varied, ensuring children build a broader understanding of inverse operations and commutativity. Finally, the pack finishes with check two. And this is where all the hard work will pay off and your students will see a much higher score than the first check. 
make sure you spend time celebrating those successes. The more publicly, the better. When should you use the worksheets? Little and often is the key for improved recall. That might mean that you use them at the start of a maths lesson or when you've got that spare 10 minutes in the day. Also, you might be familiar with the situation where you've booked the laptops to play TTRS online, but they're mysteriously not there or half of them aren't charged. That's where the worksheets can save the day and fill the gap, meaning your students keep the times table momentum going. And if you're in a school that gives out homework, then these packs can be really useful to send home. You can also use them as a resource with an intervention group because the structured practice works so well in a small nurture setting led by an adult. So there you have it. TTRS worksheets are a flexible, structured and effective way to build times tables fluency, whether in class, at home or during intervention small group sessions. With the right mix of regular practice, celebration of progress and a dash of rock star attitude, your students will be mastering their times tables in no time.